Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this lesson, we're going to start talking about representing ternary relationships using um, CS diagrams. So let's have a look at the last lesson where we talked about binary relationships. And they are relationships that are only linked to two entities. So for example, student was born in year there is only two entities coming out of this relationship. Now, what happens when you have three or more entities? Well, if you have three entities, it's called a ternary relationship. And let's write the elementary sentence for it first before we draw the diagram. So let's have a look at this elementary sentence. Teacher has degree from university. There are three entities here, right? The teacher is an entity, the degree is an entity, and the university is an entity. Now, why is this a ternary relationship? Because you cannot reduce the sentence any further. If you split up the sentence, you will result in a loss of information. For example, if you simply say uh, Bachelor of Science from UQ, right? what is that even saying? That doesn't mean anything. Bachelor of Science from UQ. So what? Who got the, who got the degree? You can't say that um, Eddie went to UQ right? without saying what degree he got. All right, because that's pointless. We don't care what uni he went to if he hasn't got a degree there. And then if you just say, what was the other one? If you just say Eddie got a degree, well, we don't know what uni he went to, so that's not good either. So we need all three things together in one sentence. So how do we draw that as a... Um, ternary relationship? Well, there are two ways of doing it. One is by drawing, representing the relationship in a box of three, a rectangle of three boxes. All right, so we've got three rows in here, and you've got three entities coming out, one from each box. Okay, and then you would put, uh, maybe you put um, teacher in one of them. Put degree in one of them. Put university in one of them. And you put the reference modes in brackets. I'll let you guys do that. So you have name here and so on. And then you would put the roles in here. So. Um, what would you put in here? Let's use a different color pen. So, teacher has a degree, right, from this university. So, university, or oh, you probably need um, degree is, uh, let's just say, study by teacher. Degree is study by teacher and university attended by teacher. Right? University was attended by this teacher who got this degree and so on. So that's a ternary relationship. You can that's one way of representing that. So method one. Method two is by using a nested relationship. So I'm basically going to pretend that one of the entities doesn't exist, so I'm just going to say teacher name obtained a degree, uh, has a degree, teacher has a degree with a uh, some sort of reference mode, what was it, type. And then where did I get this degree? Well, I'm going to put this relationship as an entity, right? So I'm going to put this relationship 
inside a dotted ellipse. And when we do that, this is called a nested relationship. So we're pretending that this relationship is an entity itself. And then I'm going to draw a relationship coming out of this relationship. All right, and then I'm going to say, uh, student teacher has a degree from this university, which is identified by its name. Okay, so that is another method for uh, representing a ternary relationship, a relationship with uh, three, a relationship between three entities. So what does it look like in a table? All right. So if I have a table with three columns, I have teacher, degree, uni, right, and I could have Chen got his science degree from UQ, Chen got his education degree from QUT, right, and then someone else, Smith got his Bachelor of uh, Arts from Griffith and so on. Uh, let's do another one. Smith got his Bachelor of Education from uh, UQ as well. Okay, so what you can see is that in, if you look at each column individually, there are repeats. Chan has repeated in the same column. Bachelor of Education has repeated in this second column. All right. Um, the first two columns is good enough for identifying each row because if you have a look, there's no other row with Chan and BSC. There's no other row with Smith Bachelor of Arts, right? So both columns, teacher and degree, is required to identify each row. And that's probably what's going to happen in a ternary relationship. Okay, so let's do another one. See if you can uh, practice how it's done. So actually, I'm going to give you guys the table and I'll let you guys write the sentence first and then draw the schema. So I'm going to put student, subject, uh, achievement. So for example, Eddie English A, Eddie Math C, which is probably not what's going to happen, but Anyway, so I'll let you guys uh, write the sentence and then draw the relationship. So the sentence would be student name Eddie, right? Studies uh, subject title English, right? And then received received grade uh, let's see let's put result or achievement grade a okay that's probably the sentence I don't I'm not going to bother filling out the reverse role you can do that and the ternary relationship would just be uh, student link to uh, student studies subject. I'll let you guys put in the reference modes in, so student name. And then put this in a dotted ellipse. 
and then have a row coming out of that. Uh, received a grade, a achievement with a grade. Okay, so that is the ternary relationship. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.